Emails obtained by the Fox 5 I team shed new light on claims of racism made by Fulton DA Fonnie Willis in response to criticism of how she's handling the election interference case. Good evening and thank you for joining us. I'm Russ Spencer. I'm Courtney Bryant. Willis has already lashed out publicly at critics of her decision to hire a special prosecutor with limited felony trial experience. A man court filings claim she is also dating. Let's bring in Fox 5 I team reporter Randy Travel Travis and Randy, these emails suggest this is not the first time she's suggested she's being singled out for being a black woman. That's right, Courtney. Yeah, Russ, uh, the emails are largely between Willis's office and Trump defense attorney Steve Sadow, but they were included in a group email to the legal teams of all 15 remaining defendants. They were sent two days after one of those defendants filed a motion accusing Willis of having a romantic relationship with one of her top prosecutors. This was DA Fonny Willis January 14th, days after accusations surfaced in court filings that she paid special prosecutor Nathan Wade at least $660,000 to head up the Trump investigation, while at the same time allegedly vacationing together on trips to California and the Caribbean. So far, her only explanation is to talk about race. Some will never see a black man as qualified, no matter his achievements. But according to emails obtained by the Fox 5i team, Willis has also used race when talking to defense attorneys. With a January 8th motions deadline fast approaching, and Trump attorney Steve Sadow repeatedly emailed asking whether the DA's office had a certain document that had not been turned over for discovery. At one point on December 27th, he wrote in all caps, please respond to my emails below. After admitting she deemed some of the emails not worthy of a response, Willis's executive district attorney, Daisha Young, responded January 10th. We are both aware, especially as an African-American woman, some find it difficult to treat us respectfully. Willis herself also weighed in. In the legal community and the world at large, some people will never be able to respect African-Americans and or women as their equal and counterpart. That is a burden you do not experience. Further, some are so used to doing it, they are not even aware they are doing it, while others are intentional in their continued disrespect. It just seems so incredibly inappropriate to go to sort of the nuclear option of saying you're a racist and you don't respect women and those kinds of things. Manny Aurora represented Kenneth Chesborough, one of the four defendants in the case who already took plea deals. Being a jerk doesn't make you racist or demeaning of women or any of these negative terms that you've seen. And Sato had no comment about the emails. That same day, he responded to Willis by writing, no defense counsel has treated you or your prosecutors in a disrespectful or condescending manner. The relationship among counsel in our case has nothing to do with race or gender, nor should it. As for Nathan Wade, Aurora believes a special prosecutor should step down, no matter his race. I would just like to see a clean trial, and unfortunately, around Trump world, nothing ever seems to be clean, but now these prosecutors are feeding into it. It's just like a self-fulfilling prophecy of idiocy. A self-fulfilling prophecy of idiocy, he says. Well, the DA's office had no comment on the email exchange. The deadline to respond in court to the conflict of interest allegations is February 2nd, and that is next week. Yeah, just another point of interest in this long saga, Randy. We'll just keep coming. Seems like new developments every single day. Absolutely. Yep. All right. Randy, thanks. Not even close to being over. Randy, thank mm -hmm. you. Uh, Fulton County DA Fonnie Willis became a primary focus of the public comment portion of today's Fulton County Commission meeting, uh, but it's past funds that were the focus for Commissioner Bob Ellis. Ellis sent this letter to Willis demanding transparency with regard to how she spent county funds while prosecuting the election interference case involving former President Trump. Specifically, he narrowed in on Willis's alleged romantic relationship with Special Prosecutor Nathan Wade. We're talking about numbers, we're talking about dollars, we're talking about facts. We're not talking about partisanship, we're not talking about race, we're not talking about tribalism. We're talking about citizens, money, and is it being used in the way it's supposed to be, in the way, in the way it was intended. Ellis, who is a Republican, says the inquiry into the Democratic prosecutor is nonpartisan.